Hi, Cancer. It's Gwen. We're going to talk about money mindset today. Yay. New type of reading I'm adding to the channel. So thanks for joining me. Welcome to the new subscribers, to my followers and fans. I love you guys. Thanks for all the support you give the channel for liking the video, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all of that. Thanks for the good karma donations. If you want your own personal private reading, reach out to me. Everything's in the box below. I love you guys. Um, we're going to use tarot, um, the Muse tarot today to do a money mindset spread. I want to know, I want to dig deeper into your mindset, see where you stand. How do you feel about abundance? What's going on in your life in a financial aspect? So it's general, don't try to make the story fit. If it's yours, it's yours. It's not, it's not, it's okay. You know, that's why I do private readings, but also using cards against humanity today, because I think that gives us some crone wisdom as well. Sometimes we need to laugh at ourselves, recognize our own patterns, right? You know, see a whole picture in a situation that let's talk about the dark stuff too. And let's laugh sometimes. Okay. So, um, I think I said everything I wanted to say. I'm going to turn the camera around now so we can talk about, um, energies at play. I got five cards for you because I think fives are all about transformation. Okay. And maybe we're viewing money, currency, energy a little bit different now, okay? And so, <clears throat> I love seeing the first card out here, which is the wheel. I'm really excited about it. We'll talk about that. Um, but let's go over these cards against humanity first. Three questions that wanted to come out and four answers, okay? And I have a funny sneaking suspicion here that these cards below are actually clarifiers for what's above. So we'll talk about what each one of these means. So I got 99 problems, but the bitch ain't one. That's what I just keep hearing. But bitch money ain't one. I got 99 problems, but bitch money ain't one with the muse of voices above there. That's King Swords energy. Absolutely. I could totally feel cancer energy coming here or other people's issues or whatever, like their negative energy. That ain't my problem. I'm focused. Mm -hmm. I have clarity. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's, well, that's that whole slogan, like Maybelline, maybe it is. And we're definitely with a five of inspiration above that, talking about some ego here. Um, fives are about changes. The makeup, the mask, the facade. Okay, look at all these holes here, too, these windows of opportunity, I want to say, um, but also like a feeling, uh, feeling a sense of somebody always trying to one up you or something. Competition, the five of wands energy, egoic competition. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's. And then I've got Mr. and Mrs. Diaz. We called you in because you're concerned about Cynthia. Are you aware that your daughter is so ch children on the mind, as well? And we'll talk about the. Um, four of materials and what that means in the reverse. But the answer is over here quite okay. Let's see. <laughs> the whole enchilada. And what's right above that? That wheel. But it's also got the glory holes under here. I mean, seriously, holes, the whole enchilada, the glory holes. It's so, you know, like, are we talking about glory winning at all costs? Um, something to that effect, that competitive nature um accepting the way things are with the knight of materials above it the knight of pentacles above it okay um it just could be that whole kind of attitude uh working hard for your money um but also accepting where you're at in your life as far as in, in your financial aspect an oedipus complex i had to actually look that up y'all because i didn't have any idea that's that's freud and, um, it's, I had to write notes about it. It's a complex um, emotion arousal in a young child, typically a boy. And that happens right around the age of four. And it's very interesting that you have four of materials here and on the underlying energy, four of emotions. So at the age of four, developing some sort of desire for the parent of opposite sex. And so like idolizing one parent, um, and then also being aggressively, um, 
unkind to the other parent. Okay, very interesting. Um, but it also has sexual ties that come out with that. I don't know, crazy, like in a, in a uh, money reading, but you could have really been, uh, you know, you really can be reprogramming at this time from what you learned at a young age around how you view currency, money, you know, like being dependent upon people, victim mindset, all that comes out in a, in a money spread. So very interesting. Let's talk about that wheel because yeah, it's the wheel of fortune, but it's also a reminder from uh, spirit that a change is coming. That's what's most important. So if you're financially comfy, then make sure you put away for harder times. Okay. And if you have been experiencing, cause I'm doing this reading for, you know, the collective here, if you've been experiencing financial hardship, then that means that you be assured that this is not meant to last forever. And to keep your eyes open for new opportunities abound, especially with an item materials next to that. Okay. The succulent, this ever growing blossom here. Okay. Expanding and work like this is the slow and steady wins the race. Okay. I know the wheel is turning in my favor now. Okay. And even if like I'm comfy now, I'm still going to save for a rainy day. You know what I'm saying? Um, the night of materials is about building your financial stability slow and steadily. Okay. It's about not taking risks. This night does not do that. No risks and actually budgeting and slowly saving for like a, a long-term goal. And you, spirit guides say frugality is really important right now too, with the night of materials coming out. Okay. You're like accepting the fact that, you know, I can't splurge on myself by buying myself this expensive pair of shoes. I need to be more realistic. I'm going to save for my financial security in the future energy. And then with this powerful card coming in next with the, this is King of Swords energy. Let's turn it to the side here so you can see with this, I got 99 problems, but blank ain't one. It's you are clear in the mind about money. Okay. Balance here. Um, it's like you've challenged yourself to be disciplined in a situation. And questions, like I would say, like, are you really doing all you can do to save for that nice car? Asking yourself questions like this. All good things come with sacrifice. You know that with the Knight of Materials right next to it. Okay. And look at your finances logically. That's the King of Swords energy. Researching um, before making any big decisions. Okay. Intellectual wisdom, diplomacy, compromise, clear mindset, power, energy right there. It's beautiful. Okay. So let's look at this clarity is important. This uh, being smart and being disciplined, by the way, because you've got this energy about you around you could even be in a work situation or at home five of in inspiration of the five of wands is uh could signal a time of financial instability that's why there was this with the wheel normally i don't talk about like i usually say that's such a great sign but here i was focused too like yeah if you're comfortable right now do save do put stuff away do put your money away do save it okay because you've got some like money arguments here or competition at work with the five of wands. Um, maybe I haven't worked particularly hard for it. Something like that. There's some sort of battle here. 
And with the four of pentacles in the reverse, this is an energy of slowly learning how to open up your pocketbook. This four of materials in the upright is I'm going to guard. I'm going to lock it all away. I'm going to save. This is you learning how to open up to sharing your resources to for people who are in need uh, as well. A giving energy of donating and sharing using your money in helpful ways. And it has something to do with the kids with this being underneath it here. Purchasing things um, for quality instead of uh, price. It could mean too that you have become a little bit careless about your money sometimes and can be an easy target for thieves or um, shady financial schemes. So be wary, okay? With the underlying energy of the Four of Cups, it's the Four, let me push this over here, Four of Cups in reverse and the Page of Voices in reverse. Let's talk about those two, okay? Um, this has been a journey, okay? This signals that it's been a journey towards security and, and economic betterment. And that you are at a point, because it's in the reverse, of appreciating what you already have. So, like, it's important that you do your thing with your finances, like spend and save and not pay attention to what others are doing and how they're um, circulating money, okay? Let, don't let that distract you. Have a more positive approach to your finances, page of voices next to you is that you could be simply over analyzing too much and like a lot of talk but no plan of action here and um and in really becoming like you're a little bit overwhelmed as far as what to do next when the page of swords it, and if it's somebody that you're dealing with a person that you're dealing with even in a work environment they're they're like gossipy and uh, and they could be malicious with their words as well. Person, air sign there. But I see you too. I mean, now you've got the king and queen of voices out here in your underlying energy. And so that's some balance being restored and, and feminine and femininity about, you know, like intuition and receptivity and queen of swords, not in her emotion. She uses her wisdom and her intuition to make financial decisions that are, you know, disciplined and smart and, um, yeah, and logical, logical. <laughs> she's learned much as she's looking back at the past there, right? So I think I'm going to leave it there for you all today. I think that was a great little uh, money mindset reading. And if you enjoyed it, drop me some love down below. Appreciate your good karma donations and reach out to me if you want your own reading like this. I can gladly do it for you. I love you, Cancer. Take good care of you. Bye.